Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do my initial impressions review on this beautiful bag you see in front of me here. This is my Fendi Mini Peekaboo. It is in the black lambskin with the gold tone hardware. And you guys, I think I got this maybe three months ago. I'm sorry, I, 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 I have lost track of time ever since we've been staying at home. But in any case, I think it might have been around three months ago. Uh, it, I got it after everything happened, so I haven't had a chance to really use it a lot, but I have used it and I just wanted to share my opinions about it and the little things that I found out about this bag with you guys. So let's start out with the dimensions. And I do believe, yes, I did bring my tape measure up here. Um, yeah, let's start with the width. It is um just over nine inches across it's 23 centimeters and then the height is just over seven inches which is 18 centimeters and then the depth is um four and uh, i guess around like six eighths seven eighths so um it's 12 centimeters um i believe all um the fendi bags are made in italy um, this one is definitely, and then, um, like I said, it is a lambskin. Um, when I first got this and I felt the lambskin, I was really, really impressed because it's, it is super soft. The quality is just amazing. Um, it is a fully lined, leather lined bag. So the inside is lambskin as well and amazing. Like it is really lightweight considering that it is a, um, it is a fully leather lined bag. Um, I believe that they made it with the soft leather and that is so lightweight because of this bag. Um, it's called the Peekaboo. It's meant to slouch. I think it really doesn't do that that well, especially in the mini size. However, in the mediums, if you use it for a long time, it happens, but I have heard that you really have to train it to do it and it doesn't really do it naturally. So yeah, but I really think it's really cute. I love the concept. So it has two compartments, as you can see. It's divided with this stiff partition and it has the turn locks and everything is here along with the top handle. So when you are holding this bag, all the weight is supported by this middle partition you see right here. So then, um, let's see, it does have the plaque in the front pocket with the zipper pocket here. And then on the back, it is a leather slip pocket here, but nothing else. So it's two large compartments and it's, it's actually very, very roomy. Um, especially with this bag, the opening, as you can see, if you have this, um, you know, this button done up here on both sides. Um, the opening is a bit constrictive. Um, and so it is, even in shape, it is a much wider bag here down um, than it is up top. And so it actually fits a lot more than, um, than it looks like it would fit. So when I did first get this bag and I took it out, I thought, uh-oh, I thought it was small. Um, I didn't remember it being this small. I had seen it a long time ago, but yeah, I, I hadn't seen it in person in a while. And so when I got it out, I thought, oh, it's smaller than I thought. And I was a little bit worried that it wasn't going to hold as much as I needed it to, but I found that it did. And I'm going to share that with you right now. So first off, my mini pochette. I carry this with me all the time, everywhere. And that will fit into the bag either horizontally or vertically. So, um, yeah, let's put it in horizontally just for now. Um, and then I would also need to usually take my keys, although um, I haven't been using this that much recently, and I will show you the piece that I use all the time these days. It is another recent purchase. It is this little guy right here. I have everything I need in here. This is all I need to carry. And you guys know this comes with the strap, which I have tucked inside. But yes, this will fit right here up top. Um, let's see. The mini pochette or mini O case from Chanel will also fit. And then a zippy coin. And you guys know these are like the essential SLGs that I always carry with me. Um, let's see if we can fit anything else. And you know what? If you really wanted to pack it, you could. So, yeah, 
just to show you guys my small um, PM agenda from Louis Vuitton would also fit in here. I have a feeling it's going to fit in horizontally there as well. So look at that. And if you look at it, it doesn't really like, can you see that the shape is actually holding up so well? Now, if you did utilize the turn locks, this would not be possible. But because I like to use it as a open top bag, this is how much you can fit into it. And I'm telling you, it fits a ton. So I feel like I could also fit in my hand cream. Yeah, it'll slip in there. I kind of have to force it in. I won't lie. But yeah, like um, usually I will not take my PM agenda. Just um, wanted to demonstrate that it will fit. But because you have enough room in there for other things, I usually take my hand cream and just put it in there. And like I said, it doesn't distort the shape because it is like an open top bag, which I think is great. So just to show you guys what this little guy fit, if it this bulky, well not bulky, but this big thing, key holder, my mini pochette, my mini O case, you see that? My zippy coin. And even this big bulky hand cream. So this bag can fit so much. As you can see, yes, it fits a ton. So it's mini, but it fits everything you would need. Um, and I really do feel it is a great substitute for the um, Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse, which I sold after I got this one. Oh, I forgot to show you guys that it does come with a adjustable, removable shoulder strap. I do um, think that they could make approve improvements with this strap because it is quite thin. It's only about a centimeter thin, so three eighths of an inch. It comes with these round clasps. So focusing, yeah, it has Fendi right there. And you would hook it, which is pretty easy to do, onto the bag like so. There. And yeah, it is really adjustable, but um, I think they overdid it because there are too many holes. Like, I feel like you could you could have made it so that it would go shorter rather than longer, but what they did is they only have you know um short the sh it only gets shortened up to here but then you have all this strap to lengthen and i think that's a miscalculation on their part because i can see people wanting to hold it shorter you know as like a shorter shoulder bag however i don't see anybody that would want to extend it to the length that you could extend it and wear it as like a knee bag <laughs> So I don't know why they did it that way, but it, it is what it is. Um, I know Fendi has amazing straps that they sell separately, and I believe they were one of the first um, fashion houses to really incorporate the additional strap idea. And um, the prices are pretty up there. Fendi itself is a pretty pricey um, fashion house to begin with. However, um, there are plenty of options for you to choose from if you want to. And another great thing about the mini peekaboo, as you guys all know, is this beautiful Defender cover. And um, I did ask around whether or not this was worth it before I purchased it, but I am so happy that I did because number one, it gives you a totally different look like everybody says and then number two it really does protect this lambskin bag especially these days because i mean i don't like to wipe down this bag too much although i could and then i do worry about like scratches and banging it up and then the corners especially because this one does not have feet and so you would have to place it on the ground whereas if i keep it in the defender cover it just makes it such a like carry free worry free bag so I really, really do appreciate having this Defender cover. So the Fendi um, also comes with this 
cute little rain cover and I thought I'd share that with you guys as well. Uh, so it has its own little pouch and look at that. It is absolutely adorable. Oh my gosh. So if you were caught in the rain and you had this with you in your bag, you could pretty much just quickly take it out, pull it over, and how cute is that? Seriously. I think that is a very cute little touch that they have. And yeah, it it's it's just really cute. I I think it's really cute. Although, um, if you have the defender cover, you really wouldn't need to have this ring cover with you, but when you're carrying it like this and you are caught in a downpour, yeah, this would come in very, very handy. Let's see, the pros of this bag is, number one, it is absolutely stunning, beautiful, very feminine. I know this bag also comes in the Solaria, um, but um, that one is a bit more expensive, although the, the, the leather seems to be a bit more carefree and user-friendly. I feel like this Napa leather, it just has a different look. It's it's the rounded um, curves of this bag, I feel, makes it such a um, feminine, dainty, cute little bag. And I do prefer them to the, to the more square, boxy look of the Solaria, although it is, you know, just, you know, whatever you prefer. Um, but yeah, I really love how, um, how this looks. I love the rounded corners. Another major pro of this bag is this top design. Um, it is an open top that you can use like this. It is so easy to get in and out of this bag, get your items and everything. And then this top handle, I mean, oh my gosh, like I did not know I was a top handle person until I got bags with top handles that I really, really loved. And I always thought I needed straps, but now I don't think that anymore. I mean, this top handle just makes it so easy to grab and go and it's beautiful as well so i really think that is another great pro of this bag and it just makes it so much easier to carry around with you and then if you're grabbing it from the passenger seat of your car it's just so so easy so that is another major pro of this beauty right here so some of the cons that I found with this bag is number one, that when you do use the turn locks, it does leave um, the shape a little bit, you know, distorted. I feel like some people will see a lot of pulling um, going here and while others will see this part kind of, I don't know, like it, it just makes it look really flat and not as puffy. And um, it happens on both sides as well. So, yeah, that's the one thing. Um, and then it limits the space to um, to be a lot less than it can, you know, really hold. And so I do not um, like using it closed. However, it does give you the added protection when you need it to be a little bit more secure. Another con that I found with this bag is that the leather, it is very, very soft, which is in a sense, it's a pro because it's so soft and so luxurious. However, on the downside, um, it does, um, I guess, lose its shape over time. And so I feel like this would be an, um, you know, a, a, a very good candidate to use a bag organizer in. And I know that I think some Morga just came out with um, the bag organizers for the Fendi Peekaboo. So I am considering getting it. However, yeah, like, I don't know what it is about me, but I cannot make myself get expensive bag organizers. I don't know what it is, but anyhow, that's just me. Um, I do feel like this bag it would be a good, um, it would be a good investment to make for this bag in particular because of its, um, if, of its soft leather, I feel like you do need it to, um, retain its shape. And I did get this one pre-loved. And as you can see, that person did say that they got the Defender cover to use with this bag quite often so that it did not get scratched up and it is really good, but you can see that there are stretch marks here and here and also there 
and there. And I feel like this person, whoever, um, might have used a long wallet. Do you see? Like, I feel like that is just the size of a long wallet. And I feel like maybe the previous owner had a long wallet that they put in here and that left that impression on both sides. And so it just shows you that this leather, although super soft, it is also very delicate. So you would have to be a little bit more careful about stretching it out or um, leaving impressions like you can see here. And then also scratches, um, I guess, against rubbing because a lot of the pre-loved ones, you do see that the corners wear out very, um, oh, you know, you see a lot of worn corners. So that's something that I will be careful about. I haven't noticed a lot of like, um, like, you know, fingernail scratches or anything like that on this bag. So I feel like the owner or the previous owner did take really good care of it. It's just the structure loss. Like, can you see the wrinkling on this side? Whereas you don't see it that much on this side. So yeah, I feel like I definitely should make that investment and get a bag organizer for this. Um, and then another con is the thin straps, like I mentioned, and then the way it's adjustable. Like, I don't know what, like, why they have holes all the way down to here, but they don't have a lot that go all the way, move all the way up, which kind of doesn't make sense because like I said, I can see people wanting to use a shorter strap. I don't see people wanting to use a super long strap, so. Yeah, definitely need some improvement on the straps. Another thing is, and this is the final thing I believe, you hear that, it rattles. <laughs> so this will really make a lot of noise. And also the turn lock, you know, kind of bumping against um, the plat, like the, the outer part here. Yeah, I don't know, it's like when you're carrying it, and on this like I do hear it rattling from time to time so yeah that's another con that I've noticed about this bag but it's not to the point that it's really bothersome I just thought I'd mention it because yeah you can really hear it <laughs> other than that honestly there's nothing <laughs> there's nothing I can think of I think it's beautiful it just gives me joy just to like use it um and touch it and feel it and see it on me um and yeah it's i i think it's amazing um i don't know why i waited this long to get one um i should have pulled the trigger a long time ago <laughs> but i didn't but i was able to find a good deal so i'm really really happy about that um yeah i think that's about it um i don't know anything that i need need or want to add to that um, but if you guys have this bag and own this bag, I would love to hear what your thoughts are about it. If you still love it, I mean, I think it's an amazing bag and I definitely think it's a classic that's here to stay. And yeah, I guess I'll just do my mod shots and then, um, you want to do a separate video using the Defender cover and showing you guys that. But with that said, I think that's it. I really hope you enjoy this video. And um, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the description box below. Um, please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And um, I love hearing from you guys um, in the comments. So with that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next one. Take care, everybody.